Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 186. That is, what are the different user story estimation techniques? Let me answer. There are several user story estimation techniques using which we can predict or estimate the approximate time that is required to complete a user story. Okay, how much time this user story will take? Okay, what is approximate time that user story may take to complete? That estimation or prediction can be done using any of this user story estimation techniques. There are several user story estimation techniques that I'm going to cover in this session. So why this user story estimation techniques are required? Just to solve these challenges. What are the challenges that we generally face in real time? Why these techniques are required? What happens is the product owner will give you the user stories, which are nothing but the small chunks of requirements. If the requirements are not clear, okay, then if you have to estimate the stories when the requirements are unclear, and if you still have to estimate the stories, it will be very difficult, right? It will be very difficult to estimate something which is not clear. In that kind of situation, we can use this user story estimation techniques, okay, different user story estimation techniques according to the situations and all. If you, if you consider, even despite of having unclear inputs, we can estimate the stories, okay? That is a challenge and uh, uh, using this, uh, the solution is nothing but the user story estimation techniques we can use for still estimating despite of having Despite of unclear inputs, user stories can be estimated using by following these techniques, user story estimation techniques. So what are the different advantages we get by using this user story estimation techniques, okay? Ultimately, what is the advantage we get by estimating the stories, okay? The advantages we get is uh, when you estimate the stories, we can measure the progress, right? How many story points got completed, how many story points are pending. When you're working on a sprint and uh, to that particular sprint, uh, this many number of stories got as end, 30 or 35 stories got as end. By the end of the sprint, you have to complete 35 stories. So in middle of the sprint or somewhere in the sprint, you want to cross check like how many story points you completed, how many story points are pending. Such kind of measurement or tracking can be done with the help of stories, okay? That's the power of estimation, right? If you estimate a story, you can measure your progress, okay? During your work, you can measure your progress, how much you completed, how much is pending completion. And understanding of requirements improves, guys, okay? Uh, in the process of estimating the stories, in the process of estimating the stories, we need to understand the requirements. Without understanding the requirements, it will be very difficult for us to estimate the stories. Uh, indirectly, we are understanding the requirements and this is this process of estimating the stories is improving our understanding of the requirements, okay? That's another advantage we get by estimating the stories. Then another advantage is by measuring the progress, what is that you want to achieve? By measuring the progress, you can make improvements, right? Uh, by measuring something, you can improve it, okay? Whatever that in your life, guys, if you measure it, you can improve it, okay? If you don't measure it, you cannot improve it, right? So you have to first measure it, then you can improve it, okay? So uh, this using, you by, by estimating the story points uh, and uh, measuring it, uh, we can make improvements later, okay? If you are not going according to track, we can, we can do some changes to the plans and all those stuff and then improve our work, okay? So make improvements by comparing the estimates with the actual work, okay? Estimated uh, work with the actual work when you compare and then you can do the improvements, okay? These are the advantages uh, we get by estimating the user stories. And now the actual topic of this session, like uh, the topic is all about what are the different user story estimation techniques, right? There are different user story estimation techniques. So planning poker is one estimation technique. Uh, T-shirt size is another one. Dot voting is another technique. Buckets system. Uh, there are other techniques also like affinity mapping, analogy, three-point method. Okay, many, many techniques are there. These are the different techniques we have. I'll explain only the major ones, okay? There are other also. I'll not cover everything, okay? So I'll, I'll explain the important ones, okay? Planning poker. If you are, if you are using this uh, user, uh, user story estimation technique that is planning poker for estimating the stories, then how do you estimate? So as part of planning poker, guys, uh, it will follow the Fibonacci sequence, okay, for estimation. What is Fibonacci sequence? You see, the first two numbers will be 0, 1. The next number will be the uh, addition of these two numbers. That is, uh, uh, actually, here, one more one will come, okay? 0, 1. 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. 2, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. 8 plus 3, 8 plus 5 is equal to 13. 13 plus 8 is equal to 21. Like it will go on, guys. Okay. So we have to, we should not be giving the estimates like uh, in between numbers. We cannot give. We cannot estimate a story as four points. You see, in this list, do we have anywhere four? No, right? You cannot estimate a story with four points, four story points. 
uh, if you have to estimate a story, you have to give some number out of this uh, Fibonacci series only. You can give it one or it can give it three or you can give it 13, but you cannot give 12 or seven or something you cannot give. Okay, and that's what is the thing. So it's the exponential nature of, uh, because of the exponential nature of the Fibonacci sequence, okay, it will allow the team to be more realistic when estimating large and complex. You see, when you are estimating the large and complex task, complex task giving some numbers like four, seven doesn't make sense, okay? So strictly giving the exact numbers is doesn't make sense, okay? Uh, we should be approximate in estimations, okay? That exponential nature of this Fibonacci series makes the job easy in estimation. Okay, this exponential where it's growing, right? The next number is becoming the addition of the two numbers. Okay, so the next size story comes uh, after 13. Next size story comes means you have to go with 21. You cannot give 14 or 15 or 16. Okay, directly you have to give to 21. Okay, that will give proper estimations or exponential estimations will make the job easy in case of when you have large and complex tasks. This kind of Fibonacci series can be used for estimation. So here, as part of planning poker uh, technique, what process will be followed is first product owner scrum master will describe the user story. With, okay, the product owner or scrum master will describe the user story for us, and each and every team member secretly selects a card. Okay, out of this uh, cards having any of these numbers, Fibonacci series numbers, whatever they feel as estimations, right? Each and every team member will have their own card and uh, will choose a card. Okay, that has any of these numbers, and uh, finally, when everyone is asked to reveal, everyone will reveal at the same time. The mo maximum voted number or card, which is uh, selected by everyone for that particular user story, right? That will be the final estimation. Okay, majority wins kind of thing. Okay, that is planning poker, guys. Okay, that is planning poker technique. Okay, here Fibonacci series is used for estimations, and here uh, as per the process, uh, different team members uh, will have a will select a card having any of this Fibonacci number for uh, as part of estimation for that particular user story, and suddenly they have to when they ask, uh, everyone has to reveal it at the same time. So they will count like uh, how many people have given estimation as eight, how many people have given estimation as 13, how many people have given estimation as five like that. If maximum people are giving some eight or eight, right? In that case, uh, the final estimation will go for eight, okay? Kind of thing. That is plan planning poker. Similarly, we have other uh, user story estimation techniques like t-shirt size, okay? So user stories will be assigned with a t-shirt size. Generally, if you go to any shop, and want to select a t-shirt, right? It will have some sizes, right? T-shirt will have some sizes like small, medium, large, or extra large size, okay? So um, we have to select a size. Here, we don't have Fibonacci series. We have this only four labels, that is small, medium. So for a particular user story, you have to select small, or for a particular user story, we have to either select medium or large or extra large, okay? It is a rough and quick estimation, guys, okay? By looking at the story, we can get a feeling like, okay, it's large or extra large or small or medium. So we have to, group uh, different user stories under different categories of small, medium, large, extra large, like you are purchasing a t-shirt, right? You have to do the same thing here, okay? It's a rough and quick estimation, guys. Use it in case of large backlogs. When you have large um, large amount of items that need to be estimated, large number of user stories need to be estimated, then this kind of technique can be followed, where you can group all these uh, stories into different buckets. And it is a very early estimation, right? Quick, it's a very quick one, very quick estimation, very fast you can do. It's a rough and quick estimation, very fast you can do it. There is no specific points, right? So you can do it very fast and quick. Early estimations can be done with the help of this uh, estimation technique. Uh, we, get, we get a quick bird's eye, view, uh, bird's eye view on estimations, okay? Very early estimations we'll get for the user stories. That's what is the t-shirt size. Then we have dot voting, okay? Any of this technique can be used for estimating the stories, guys, are based on the projects and project to project, okay? Depending on the situation, like uh, sometimes you may have to do it quick, so t-shirt size is a better one. Sometimes you have to, okay, do it for uh, complex com complex uh, and estimate large and complex tasks, then go for planning poker like that, depending on, depending on the situations, okay? Dot voting. Dot voting is like, a, generally this particular estimation technique is for prioritizing the large backlogs, okay? Large number of stories in the backlog when, when you want to prioritize them. So what happens in dot voting is, uh, so generally this particular uh, technique is only done by the well-established scrum teams. It's not like a, uh, the team has to be very good, okay, to do these estimations, okay? That's what, well-established, that's what I'm saying. Well-established scrum, scrum teams will do this dot voting where uh, the whatever the uh, large backlog items will be there, okay? All the large, large uh, whatever the stories that are in there in the large backlog will be put on the, uh, will be written on the sticky notes and, uh, and uh, the team will be given some markers or some stickers, okay, some dots or uh, some markers, 
they just need to put dots okay each and every team will uh, each and every member will be limited with some four to five dots they cannot put more than four to five dots so uh, in the remaining stories if they put one dot only three more dots or four more dots will be remaining like that all the team members have to put the dot the story which gets more dots will be highest priority okay this is what is dot voting kind of estimation then we have bucket system so how how this estimation technique will work buckets means uh, again it follows the same fibonacci series even planning poker is also following the fibonacci series here bucket system is also following fibonacci series here guys uh, for quick estimation guys okay this will take a lot of time planning poker will take a lot of time even though it's using fibonacci series because everyone has to estimate here but here together everyone will estimate together not uh, separately okay so what they will do is uh, they will uh, they will take the large uh, larger items which are there and larger items that are there in the uh, backlog and uh, it's a it is a long term project generally this bucket system is using the long term projects okay here fibon uh, they will be creating a list of buckets guys okay some kind of buckets where you can put the user stories into so each and every bucket will have some story estimation points okay one bucket will have five as a number on that and some other bucket will have eight or 13 21 like that different buckets will different story point numbers will be there what the team members will do is uh, they will discuss a story between themselves and they will decide the bucket okay into which the story has to fall into and uh, put that particular user story in that particular appropriate bucket of which is having the number of the fibonacci series okay so it's suitable for long term projects and having large items early for those new to agile guys okay this uh, this particular bucket system is uh, easy uh, easy actually not early easy for those new to agile right simply they will discuss within the team and put that uh, user story into the bucket so easy and quickly way they can do right because they are doing together this can this discussing and doing it's a quick estimation and easy for the new people to do okay so these are the uh, several uh, user story estimation techniques we have apart from this we have other user story estimation techniques like affinity mapping analogy three point method and so on many other uh, user story uh, estimation techniques are there but uh, when you get this question in the interviews you can answer this part okay uh, whatever you remember from this uh, planning poker or t-shirt size or dot voting whatever you remember just give two to three techniques i think that will be more than enough to answer the question okay so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to another answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye